Hi guys, this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my flavor twisters doing today? I hope you are doing well. What we're going to do today is, we're going to make some pork steak smothered in gravy with mushrooms and onions. So here you see I have three pork steaks. And what I'm going to do is season these with just Lowry seasoning salt on each side. Okay. And some coarse ground black pepper. Here I go get my workout again with this black pepper mill. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is flip these over and season the other side. These are some pretty nice sized pork steaks. Alrighty. Now let me season the other side real quick. With the seasoning salt. and pepper. Okay, now that we have our pork steak season, we're going to sear these off in a pan. Okay guys, now we have our skillet. And what I'm going to do is drizzle a little bit of olive oil in the skillet. Like so. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter to our skillet. And we're going to let this melt a little. And we're going to add our pork steak. And we're just going to sear them on each side for about five minutes, four to five minutes, then let them get lightly brown. Okay. Now we're going to add our pork steaks. I know the butter is getting a little brown, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. Got one. Two. These will cook down, guys. They're pretty thick. Let me see. Okay, maybe I'll just do them too. These two and then do the other one. That's a pretty nice size. So we're going to let these cook for five minutes on one side. And then we're going to flip them and cook them for another five minutes on the other side. Okay guys, it has been exactly five minutes. Now I'm going to flip these over. See how that is? Nice and lightly brown. And let them continue cooking on the other side. And this is uh, uh, um, cooking on a medium high heat. Not high, but medium high. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna cook the third one after these get done off camera so we can save some time. Okay guys, it has been five minutes on this side. What I'm going to do is remove the pork steak. And like I said, I'm gonna cook the third one that I had because it was too big to fit in the pan. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in the pan and let this cook on each side for five minutes. But I'll do that off camera. You did see how the first two was done, so we're good here. All right. Okay, guys, we're taking the other pork steak out of the pan, and now we're getting ready to make our gravy. Now, you see all of these nice little bits, brown bits in there? You want to leave them in there. You don't want to take them out. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to add some more butter to the skillet. I'm going to add three tablespoons this time. There's one, two, and three. Now we want this to melt. Look at all that goodness in the pan. That's from the pork. So you wanna leave that in there for flavoring. Okay, get this started here. Now what I'm going to do is just add one more tablespoon of olive oil. Just eyeball it. Here we go. Okay, now. We're getting our gravy started here, guys. I love making gravy. Okay. Now, what I have about four tablespoons of flour in this dish. I'm not sure I'm going to use it all yet. I have to eyeball that too. Once you start making gravy, you'll get used to it. And you'll know exactly how much to use. I usually use between three and four tablespoons of flour. Okay. Put the flour in there. Okay, this is looking good, guys. Because I do want enough to cover the meat. Okay, now I'm going to put the rest of it in. It looks like I need all four tablespoons. There we go. And that should be enough. Now what we're going to do, keep stirring it. Don't let it burn because if you let it burn, your gravy will taste burnt. All right. Here we go. Okay, just keep stirring it. Now let me turn my water on and get it nice and hot. I don't have to boil it because um, my faucet, for some reason, that water temperature is out of this world. It will scald you. Okay. Here we go. See how nice and brown it's getting? Okay. All right, let me see how my water is. It's getting there. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is add, let me stir this, about two cups of water. All right. And you want to add, the reason why I'm putting hot water in here, is because you don't want to add cold water really to it because you want it to continue at the same temperature. Now see how thick that's getting? There you go. All right. That's the way you want it to look. Okay, dope. A little bit more. Like I said, this is two cups of water I put in a cup, in a measuring cup. Okay, there's the rest of it. Now, 
let this here continue cooking. All right, see, look at that. Okay, now what I'm going to do, guys, I have a cup of heavy cream that I'm adding. The gravy will get a little bit lighter, but once you put the meat and stuff in it and it continue cooking, it will darken back up. But pork gravy isn't exactly supposed to look like beef gravy, so we're good. Now what I have here, I'm going to add two tablespoons of onion powder. Continue stirring while you're doing this and two tablespoons of garlic powder. And now I'm gonna get my workout with this pepper mill because you do want some black pepper in there. Okay, turn that down a bit. Look how good that looks. What I'm going to do is add about a tablespoon of regular salt. Okay. Looking good, guys. You want to keep stirring because nobody wants lumpy gravy. Okay, dope. Now I am going to taste this because I want to see what my salt level is. But let me add the black pepper first. One thing about gravy, you want to have some black pepper in there. Okay, let it go. Sometimes this pepper comes out of this grinder fast, and I guess it all depends on where the peppercorns is. Okay, now see, you can see the black pepper real good on there. And that's what I look for. Just eyeball it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Mmm, look at that. Now, let me get a spoon and taste this for the salt level. Okay. Perfect. Mm. I definitely needed that salt in here. And what I'm going to do is add another quarter cup of heavy cream. And the heavy cream just makes it really nice and smooth. Okay. Looking good. Now to this gravy, I am going to add a medium red onion cut up. Sliced. And I have an eight ounce package of sliced mushrooms. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this simmer for about five minutes and we're gonna add our pork steaks back to the pan. Okay guys, now we're back. Now see they simmered for like five minutes. And what I'm going to do, it looks pretty good. Mm. 
I'm going to add the pork steaks to the pan. What I did, I cut them in half. That way there will be easier to maneuver here. See, that's better. Because these things were pretty big. All right. Nice serving pieces also. Instead of putting that big thing on the plate. <laughs> well, my husband wouldn't mind it. The more, the bigger the better for him. Okay. This other one was fighting me. Didn't want to get up here. All right. Now what we're going to do, let me flip these over. The gravy. Look at that, guys. And this gravy tastes delicious. Oh, that part. Here we go. Oh, that's a mushroom. It's so big. Okay. And we're flipping them over. They're saturated. And what I'm going to do is add a quarter cup of water. And let these simmer. Okay. So I don't want it to get too thick. Now what you want to do is put the lid on this. And you want to let this simmer for at least 45 minutes to an hour. And then our dinner will be done. And what I wanted to tell you guys, depending on the thickness of your pork steaks, um, if they're not really thick, because they do sell them in thin, if they're thin, you could cook them for about 45 minutes. And the thick ones, I would recommend an hour. Um, that way you'll know they're nice and tender. And also during this process, um, every once in a while, stir your gravy and move your pork steaks around. Make sure it's everything's cooking evenly. Okay, guys. Our pork steaks have been simmering for one hour. Exactly an hour. Look at that. Now, let me dip one of these babies up and show you what it looks like. Some gravy. Mmm, yum. Let me turn this fire down. Now let me see how tender this is. Okay. We wanna cut this and see how tender it is. Mm, look at that guys. Yum, yum. Ooh, it's hot. Wow, I could have really cut this with a fork. Look at that. Mmm, let me taste it. Oh my. Mmm. It's so tender and juicy. Look at this. It's breaking up with the fork. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You have to make this for your family, guys. Now this is um, flavors with a twist. Um, my smothered pork steak with mushrooms and onions. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get more of these great recipes. This is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Goodbye.